curly hair, don't care. Okay, so listen, I have a feeling that you are a little bit sick of the Instagram hustle. Yes, yes, you're like, why do I have to be a slave to Instagram to grow my business? Okay, okay, cool your jets. If that's how you're feeling, take a deep breath because there are other alternatives. And today we're gonna talk about one of my absolute favorite ways to grow your business through organic traffic in a way that doesn't make you feel like dirt. Yes, today we're gonna talk about my absolute love for Pinterest. I'm Erin Trafford, story strategist and digital business strategist, and I love to help my clients find, tell, and share their stories in the online space in a way that grows their business and feels good. I'm all about the feels good. And the things that I love to talk about are blogging, podcasting, storytelling, and Pinterest. And that's exactly what we're gonna talk about today. So let's dig in. So how many times have you heard somebody, or maybe you've done it yourself, say like, oh, I just found this on Pinterest. I found this on Pinterest. I found this on Pinterest. I did a Pinterest project. All of this stuff is on Pinterest. Pinterest is the greatest. A lot of people say those things. A lot of people use Pinterest. Listen, in 2021, half a billion people are using Pinterest every single month. So if you're not leveraging it for your business and you're only leveraging it for recipes that you're never actually gonna make or outfits you're never actually gonna buy, then you're missing a huge opportunity. So let's just dispel some myths. Pinterest is, yes, it started as a DIY and recipe sharing platform. And toot toot, I was a beta user for Pinterest 12 years ago when the platform started. That's how long I have been using Pinterest to grow my business, more than a decade. So with that in mind, I will say, yes, it's full of a lot of DIY and recipe content because that's how it started. But listen, Pinterest is also the third largest search engine in the world. So the first one is the Google. The second one is the YouTube, which are basically the same thing. And the third one is Pinterest. What is Pinterest? It is a visual search engine. It is not a social platform. So if you find yourself feeling like, OMG, Instagram, I can't even anymore, but you like the visual aspect of Instagram, then maybe you should direct your attention to this awesome little sister cousin of Instagram, which is Pinterest. And no, Pinterest is not owned by Instagram. That sounded wrong. That wasn't what I intended it to sound like. Other than that, they're both highly visual platforms, but Pinterest has way more long-term value for you and your brand than arguably Instagram does. So let's get into how you can start leveraging Pinterest for your business in a way that, again, makes you not feel like dirt maybe even makes you feel good and excited and like you're doing something meaningful. Who should be using Pinterest? This is a big, big thing, especially if you're a business. Not every business needs Pinterest, as in it won't work for everyone. So this is not like a magic bullet because there's no magic bullet in marketing. But if you are any or all of these things, you really need to think about Pinterest for your business. If you are a blogger or a content creator and you're not on Pinterest, just stop watching this video right now and like go set up a Pinterest account, okay? Blogger and creator, yes to Pinterest. But also, if you are a digital service provider who can offer goods and services online, so let's say you're a coach and you have like a mastermind group, or you're a coach who does high level one-on-one -on -one coaching, but you can work with people anywhere in the world and you have a way to capture leads through a website or a landing page you should be on Pinterest. If you are a product seller and you sell things that you can ship and you sell those things online through a landing page or a Shopify or an Etsy store, you should be on Pinterest. And if you are not, well, watch to the end of this video and then go set yourself up a Pinterest account. This is, this is huge, right? You need to be on Pinterest. It is going to change the way you market your company and you can do it in as little as, I don't know, six to eight hours per month, set it and forget it. That's the other reason I really like Pinterest. Okay, Pinterest is incredible for long-term traffic generation. Because it is a search engine, you are able to pump content 
out onto the platform to test and optimize for things people are searching for. Which reminds me, searchers on Pinterest are not like followers on Instagram. What's the big difference is that when you go to Pinterest, you're usually going boop, 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 and typing in exactly your problem and exactly what you wanna find on Pinterest. So like, I'll go to Pinterest and be like, how do I clip my cat's nails so he doesn't scratch me to kingdom come. I just told Pinterest exactly the problem I am having. And it captures all of that data about its users and it spits it out into keywords that you can target with your pins. You can also, you know, use that to your advantage when you're trying to test out the content and that you're creating on your website. What keywords are people looking for in Pinterest? Can you create pins that match those keywords? And can you direct those pins back to your website? Yes, you can. When was the last time that you put a total search term like that into Instagram? I'm gonna say never. Now, the other thing psychologically though, let's just think about this for a second, that Pinterest offers versus other social media platforms is searcher's intent. So when you go to a website like Google or Pinterest or even YouTube to a certain extent, you are telling it what your problem is by saying, how do I find recipes for Christmas cake? How do I find how to properly caulk my bathtub? How do I find um, a good massage therapist or a good birth doula, right? When you put that into a search bar, the results that come up are going to excite you. They're gonna solve the problem you have or answer the question you have. So inevitably, when you engage with that content, you are gonna be more open to receiving that solution. So if you as a service provider or product seller or whatever it may be, are the pin that that person happens to click on, once they get to their, your website or your content or your product or your sales page, they're gonna be way more likely to say yes to you, to opt into your freebie, to subscribe to your newsletter, to read something else that you've written because they have searchers intent. That is not something that you get with people on Instagram or Facebook. Those platforms are just not designed that way. Okay. And here's the other cray cray thing about Pinterest. Speaking of searchers intent is that the entire concept behind Pinterest as a visual search engine is to inspire, create knowledge and solve problems. And part of that is that Pinterest wants you to leave the platform. They want people to engage on Pinterest, search for things that inspire them, search for things they're gonna learn uh, how to do something, or search for a specific solution, and then click on that pin to leave Pinterest, to engage deeper with that solution. So how does that help you as a digital entrepreneur? Is that Pinterest actually wants to send you traffic. They want to send you traffic. So kind of goes to prove that Pinterest is an amazing lead generation tool. If you are doing a Pinterest strategy in any fashion, you should be using it for your top of funnel. You wanna use Pinterest to fill your lead generation funnel because it is powerful for that. The number of eyeballs you can get on your content through Pinterest is far and away that of what you're gonna grind to get at, trying to get followers on Instagram and then trying to get those followers to engage with you or sign up for your list or buy your thing, right? Pinterest is going to cast a really wide net that then you're going to be able to funnel through your own content and marketing strategies on your own. The last thing I'm going to say about Pinterest is that it's a hugely viable alternative and or companion to paid promotions you're doing on Facebook and Instagram. Since the big iOS update, Facebook ads have been totally snafued. And I've heard from friends and colleagues whose ads were previously converting really, really well, who are like dead in the water. Their campaigns are no longer working. And and for certain niches, Facebook and Instagram ads are super, super expensive. So Pinterest offers a completely different ads environment for you to start running promoted pins to your funnel or to your digital product. And the reason I like promoted pins more so than I like Facebook or Instagram ads is that even after your payment period is done and your campaign has ended on Pinterest, Pinterest promoted pins continue to exist as searchable content on the platform. So that means when you promote a pin to say your program or your course or your product, and let's say you do it for a two week period, but a bunch of people pin that pin throughout that two week period, 
Once you stop paying at the end of your campaign, when the two weeks is up, the repins that people made of your pins still exist. So that means that a searcher with search intent who is looking for a solution that is your product can still type in their query in Pinterest and your promoted pin will show up for them even after your promotion period is over. That's like free traffic. So if I haven't convinced you enough that you need to investigate Pinterest, I actually don't know what else I should be doing right now with my time or with my life, but you really should go check out Pinterest as an option for your business. And if you'd like to know more, then I encourage you to download 77 story prompts because I put the link in the description box below. Get on my list because I will be running Pinterest boot camps along with blogging boot camps so that you can start letting go of all of the hustle and bustle of content marketing that makes you feel like crap and move towards something that feels much more aligned with you and your business. And that takes a hell of a lot less effort. Okay. That was a lot for today's video. Go Pinterest. <laughs> if you like this, remember to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so you don't miss a video and I'll see you again soon.